In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to use public key encryption. With password-based encryption, a single password is used for both encryption and decryption. However, public key encryption uses two separate keys, one public key for encryption and a private key for decryption. You do not share any passwords when you use public key encryption. So this method is much more secure when several users need to access an encrypted container stored on a shared network drive. In this scenario, each user has a public-private key pair generated by BestCrypt Key Manager or any similar utility. The public key can be shared openly, such as with your network administrator. The network administrator encrypts the container with the public key from each user. Then every user can access the container using their own private key. Open BestCrypt Control Panel. Click Container Menu and select New. Select the container file path. Then select the size and provide a brief description. Now go ahead and click Create. Instead of entering the password, click Show Advanced Settings. BestCrypt provides you with three different encryption schemes. Here we will select Public Key Encryption. You can search online for public keys by clicking Net Search. To choose an existing public key, or to generate a new one, click Choose Key. We have already generated two pairs of keys with BestCrypt Key Manager. By default, the key pair is stored in the BCDB folder inside your documents. BestCrypt automatically looks for private keys in this location. In the real-life scenario, you would share your public key by sending it to the administrator, who then adds it to the shared container. But for this demonstration, we will just place the keys in separate locations on the same computer. Choose a public key for the new container and click OK. Move your mouse around this window or type anywhere on the keyboard to generate random data for the encryption key. Format your container. Then dismount it. BestCrypt allows you to encrypt a container with multiple public keys. Let's now try to add a second key. Right click on the container and select Properties. Select User Passwords. Select Add Password and click Execute. Enter the password you used to create the key pair, and select the corresponding private key. Repeat these steps. Re-enter the password you used to create the key pair, and again select the corresponding private key. Click Show Advanced Settings. Select Public Key Encryption. Choose the second public key for the container and click OK. Let's now try to mount the container by using either of the two private keys. Double click on the container, enter the password you chose while generating the public key, and click OK. Select your private key and click Get It. Congratulations! You have successfully used BestCrypt with public key encryption. Your encrypted container is now ready to be shared. Thank you for watching. We hope you will be satisfied with our software.